Hello, welcome to the pivot point session in moving averages. Uh, the way we use moving averages and pivot points is fairly simple. Uh, they calculate highs and lows and uh, opening and low and closes and support and resistance of uh, previous levels on the weekly, daily, uh, four hour, hourly, whatever monthly uh, charts you're using. So I'll show you a little how they work and the magic of them and uh, Okay, so let's go zoom in here. We see that it, these tweezer tops, they touch the mid pivot point right there. They also touch uh, right here as well. Nice little support and resistance uh, zone because of them. Uh, up here, price stops uh, at a pivot point. And uh, down here, touches, does a little bounce, and uh, hits a pivot point here, hits a mid pivot point here. Can't really reach the main pivot point here. Uh, see the mid pivot points right here, can't be really broken. So you see how they are used for support and resistance. Let's go to the daily. See it right here. Going down to the next one, can't hit it. Mid pivot points action right here, holds it. Uh, blow off top. And you see the main pivot points right here, how it has a hard time trying to get above them. Here's support right here. So they calculate very well. Uh, I use them very nicely uh, all the time and uh, use them with emphasis and set, set alarms on that to uh, when they break the pivot point. Go to the four hour, see how it bounces right here. It breaks above and then drops right below. Um, supports right here. You see all, <clears throat> all the way through how mid pivot points Resistance right here, 142. They usually are at round numbers. So 131.5, that's a round number. See how it uh, holds right there. And uh, right there it holds. Bounce support right there. Resistance line doesn't really, all the wicks don't really get above it too much. Okay, so now we're going to go on to moving averages, so we'll go back. Uh, the moving averages are kind of just uh, a complementary tool. Uh, they let you know what the trend's doing, and mainly I just look at the uh, the red and the green, the 10 and the 20, because when, uh, when the green and the red are... Uh, shooting up uh, usually means that trends happening when the greens above the red um, like right here and then you can see that you can get out right here that gives you a little stop entry to lock in profits uh, shows a good here greens above the red get out right there throw in a stop it's a range bound anyways Goes up here, greens above the red. Get out right there. Greens above the red. And then uh, when the uh, when the green goes below the red, that's a short sell, like right here. Means uh, you want to sell that short. So it gives a little extra uh, confirmation. The 200 is mainly just uh, it's a major trend uh, thing. You don't really use it too much, but it just lets you know where prices can bounce off and uh, uh, where the trend's going. and just kind of outlines that uh, we're in an up move and uh, they're correlating nicely. You can see here that the... Uh, 
Green's uh, below the red right here. Green's below the red. Shorting, shorting. And then up here, you're seeing that the green is above the red here, and we're in an uptrend. We get out right there once price uh, crosses below. Uh, when they're correlated and when they're stuck together, that means uh, we're in a range bell mark if nothing's trending. Uh, so that's basically it. That's what uh, I use these two tools for. Alright, thank you for your time.